Hey there, welcome back to AI Code King. If you've watched my previous video about Docploy, which is an alternative to Vercel, you'd know that I also mentioned some other Vercel alternatives, like CapRuver. So, today we'll be exploring CapRuver in depth. CapRuver is a scalable and open source platform as a service. By platform as a service, we mean something like Vercel, Netlify, or Heroku, where you don't have to think much about servers, scaling, and other such things, and you can easily deploy your applications. Anyway, CapRuver has a very simple-to-use web interface. It also has a CLI for terminal-friendly people. You can use it to deploy most types of applications with it. It is fully open source and free for commercial usage as well. Now, let me tell you about the stack it uses. It uses Docker Swarm and Ginx, Let's Encrypt, and Net Data under the hood. If you don't know what each of these terms means, let me tell you about them quickly. The first thing in its stack is Docker Swarm. As the name suggests, it's like multiple Docker containers in a swarm. But it's not that simple. Think of this as your server. Generally, when you run a Docker container, it runs on a single host machine. But with Docker Swarm, you can run multiple Docker containers across multiple machines that will be managed by your main host server. This allows you to scale your application horizontally, which means you can add more machines to your swarm as your application grows. This makes it very easy to manage and scale your application. The next thing in CapRuver's stack is in Ginx. Ginx is a popular web server that acts as a reverse proxy. It sits between your application and the outside world, and it's responsible for routing incoming requests to the correct container. The third thing is Let's Encrypt, which is a free SSL certificate authority. It provides free SSL certificates, which are essential for securing your application and URLs with HTTPS. And finally, there's NetData, which is a monitoring system that provides real-time metrics and insights about your application's performance. So, with CapRuver, you get all these powerful tools working together to provide a scalable and secure platform for deploying your applications. Now that we've covered the basics of CapRuver, let's check out the other things they have mentioned on their homepage, and then I'll proceed to show you how to use it. The homepage looks like this. They also have a live demo here, so you can go ahead and check out their web interface from here, which is pretty cool. Scrolling down, you'll see their tech stack here. You can basically deploy any application that can be Dockerized with this because it uses Docker. Next, there's this section that I really like. Here, they have told you who should use this project. You can go ahead and give this a read. They also list their features here. Next, you'll see their whole setup process in one image, which is pretty cool if you want to understand how it works. Anyway, now let's start the setup process, and I'll show you how you can set everything up and make it function just like Vercel or Heroku. Come to their website. Here, you'll see this button named Get Started Now. Click on it, and you'll be forwarded to this page. If you're starting from scratch, you can use this digital ocean to directly provision a pre-installed CapRuver instance. But for setting it up on other server providers, scroll down and copy this command. This command opens up the ports on your server that CapRuver will need when getting installed. Once done, come back to the page and scroll down. Here, you'll see the installation command for CapRuver. You'll need to have Docker installed on your server to run this command. If you don't have it, go ahead to Docker's website and get it installed from there. Once you have that installed, run this command. It will take some time to get installed. Once installed, you can open up port 3000 on your server. You'll be prompted to enter a password. The default password is 
Captain 42, so go ahead and enter it. Once you do that, you'll see this dashboard. Now, go over here and change your password to something else. Once done, go to the Apps menu. Let's create an app here and check if it's working. Instead of creating a manual app, let's select the One-Click App option. In this option, you'll find multiple apps that can be deployed in one click. Let's deploy WordPress over here. Enter the name, username, and password that suit you. Click the Deploy button and it's getting created. Wait for some minutes. Now, you'll see that two apps have been created here, one for DB and one for WordPress itself. Click on the WordPress app and click on the URL it shows you. This will open up your WordPress installation. Now that's good, but we need to install our Next.js or Node.js apps, right? And we also need to configure our domains. So, let me show you how you can do that. First, go ahead and create a new app here. Let's name it My Project. Now go to your domain and set up your A record to point to the server. Come back to the CapRover panel and, on the dashboard, Enter your domain name here and click Save. Now, you should be able to access the CapRover instance from your domain. Once done, follow the next steps. Now, the steps I'm going to tell you can be done on either your server or your client machine, so you can choose whatever suits you. Anyway, open up your terminal. Make sure you have Node installed. Then, run this command. This will install the CapRover CLI on your machine, and then, through the CLI, you'll be able to connect to your server. Once done, run this login command. This will ask you for the server URL, so enter the domain that you just connected to CapRover. Then, enter the password. It will get connected. Now, we'll need to set up our Next.js application. CD into your Next.js application if you already have one. In my case, I'll be creating the default Next.js application. Once you have that figured out, create a new file called Captain Definition. Once created, come back to the CapRover docs and scroll down. Here, you'll find this link. Click on it, and you'll see this template. Copy it and paste it into your Captain Definition file. This is required because CapRover can only deploy Docker applications. So, to also support Next.js applications without Dockerizing them, they have created this Captain Definition, which will automatically create a Docker file for the Next.js application when deploying. Now, over here, copy this line and paste it over this line, and replace the Start command here with Build because we'll also need to build the application before running. Anyway, once you do it, just run the Caprover deploy command. This needs to be done only one time, so you won't have to do it every time. It will ask you about which machine you want to deploy it to. As we have only one, select that option. Next, it will ask you for the project name. Let's select My Project here. Once done, it will ask you for the branch name. In my case, it's the main branch, so I'll enter that. Now, your application will start getting deployed. Go ahead and open the CapRover panel, then go to your app and check its logs here. You can see it has been successfully deployed. Go ahead and open the URL, and it should work. Pretty cool. From now on, you can just run the deploy command and deploy your applications but you can also set up auto-deployment like Vercel. To do that, open up your app in the panel, go to the Deployment tabs, and here you'll find the Auto-Deployment option. You can configure this to make sure your apps are auto-deployed as soon as you push to a repo. Also, to set up HTTPS, you can just go to the Dashboard and click on the Enable HTTPS option here. You also have the monitoring option here. You can monitor your application requests and other logs from here as well. 
You also have the clusters option here, where you can set up multiple clusters of servers for better scaling. Pretty cool. It has most of the features anyone would want. You also get one-click app deployment, through which you can pretty much deploy anything you want in just one click. Let me know if you'll be using it in the comments. Also, if you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below this video. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.